Evidence of efficacy of a drying out system for walls with a scientifically accepted method of measuring masonry moisture. Several methods of drying out walls or old wet buildings exist. The horizontal moisture barriers in these buildings are damaged so that ground moisture is able to rise into the masonry above. The animation shows the permeable horizontal moisture barrier. These are just a few of many symptoms of rising moisture. owner who is looking for a method of drying out should choose a company that provides evidence of its efficacy. Every serious company in this branch will offer evidence of efficacy based on measurements of masonry moisture before and after the drying out. For this purpose, drill dust is taken from the wall at a depth of at least 10 cm with a slowly turning drill. The hand warmth test shows that the drill is not warmer than the temperature of the hand. Here is the proof. The drill dip stays below 40 degrees, measured with a contact-free thermometer. When the temperature is exceeded, the drill for removing the dust is changed. This ensures that one obtains the required accuracy of measurements. The drill dust is then weighted with a high precision scale and is dried within a few minutes by using the so-called DAR method, which has been described in many European standards. This measuring device has been tested for several decades and is suitable for use at building sites. Finally, the absolute moisture content is displayed in weight percent on the digital display. Today this is the fastest, most reliable and most transparent method of measuring masonry moisture and the owner of the building can check it on site. The obtained value should be entered immediately along with all other data concerning the site of measurement. In this manner, one measures and documents several sites of the building that needs to be dried out. In order to access the same areas when performing repeat measurements for comparison, all of the points of measurement are marked on the floor plan. When performing the repeat measurements, one chooses the same sites on the wall and thus obtains comparable values. The drilling material, drilling depth and so on should be about the same as those at the previous measurements. Keeping records is a part of the duties of a professional masonry diagnostician. He also records other data such as the degree of salinization of the building material. As the owner of the building, you now have the evidence of efficacy for your building. Any serious company should provide these. Insist that your renovation company provide evidence of efficacy based on the accepted TAR method. It doesn't matter which method of drying out your renovation company offers. Complete documentation will provide you with good arguments, so you will always be on the safe side when problems occur.